Por isso. É isso. Eu gosto. 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 Eu Particularly, particularly, what are, what are all the movements, but the rotation is really restricted. And then the low area is a syndrome, okay? So, one of the patients, you will see any patient with the short web neck, decreased range of motion for the rotation, and low area, you should think of the critical field syndrome. See here, what is here? This is short neck and low area. And then we will see the restriction of neck motion. See, rotation is not fully restricted. restricted. Particular rotation will be restricted. Okay? Sometimes the patient the patient is uh, 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 spring is shorter. Spring is shorter. But other than that, normal is the patient's feeling. And then, it is most of, most of the times, most of the times are causing not more. But it is defined as multiple abnormal segments of the cervical spine. Abnormal segments means this is not, when you compare to the normal, this is not, uh, no, 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 not the same. Mm. What will be there? There will be congenital diffusion of two or more cervical vertebra. Oh, fusion is what normally mm. even in between the two vertebra, there will be displaced with the gap. This displaced won't be present in, in this vertebra. It will be fusion of two vertebra. Then you have several, seven cervical vertebra. Sometimes what will happen? This C2, C3 will get fused. And then again, C3, C4 will be normal. Again, C4, C5 again will get fused. Means there will be one mobile segment between the two fused segments. And then what are the causes? Most of the time, the cause is due to the pathology. Most of the time, the cause is due to the failure of normal segmentation or formation of cervical foramen in the end of 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 the end. And then, on the top of the genetic, most of the times, SGM1 gene and chromosome 8 knocks the pads if you get involved. Okay? We should remember about, it is, one is the consistency syndrome, what is the syndrome? Low hair length, short neck, and then restriction of neck motion, particular rotation. And then, what will be the cause? Failure of segmentation or formation of cervical segment, what is 3 to 8 weeks of gestation. Okay? And then, some of the rest of it is a common anomaly. Once you see any patient with the people feeling silly or anything, you should, you should, you should, you should see only the neck care. You should see associated with any other abnormal models. What are the things abnormal models? Most of the patients will come to the community with the cannabis scoliosis. Scoliosis means that it is found in the curvature of the spine. Curvature of the spine. Cannabis scoliosis. And the RNA is still about spangle shoulder. And then renal disease. Renal disease. Some patients with the renal disease. And then deafness. Deafness. And then congenital heart disease, cardiovascular disease, and synchronous. Synchronous. Synchronous is initial general motions. What is synchronous means? I will give an example. If the, sometimes the patients, when a patient is lopping, automatically her eyes also, or her eyes also will get moved. Means there will be one, once you are doing voluntary movements, when you are doing some voluntary movements, automatically some other ones, involuntary to other ones also will move. Other ones also will move. Sometimes you should see about brain shape abnormalities and congenital cervical stenosis, basal imagination, and atlantic axial instability and adjacent level disease. Degeneration of adjacent segments of cervical spine that is not fused is common to increase stress. Okay? On all of these things, when you see kidney vision, you should remember about seeing the spine. Once you come to the spine, scoliosis, you should see spongy shoulder, and it comes to renal disease and deafness and terminal heart disease because it's the most common. These are things you should remember about the thing. And then you should see about any atlantic axial instability. Why atlantic axial instability is equal to 50% of the C? Already, already, all the seven segments, all the seven C's, all the vertebrates are not fused, all the mobile segments, they won't be any stress. There will be equal stress forms on the seven particular. But whenever these segments are fused, or C2, C3 get fused, or C3, C4 are not fused, only there will be two to three mobile segments will be there. Automatically, automatically the strain will be higher wherever the segment is mobile. C2, C3 is mobile. C1, C2 is not mobile. C1, C2 is fused. C1, C3 is mobile. There will be a lot of stress at the C1, C2. 
that is the reason that is the high risk of this chemical disease why it is important was when you are doing any surgery to remove this you know this surgery is uh, to see this surgery is very important because what will happen if you don't see this surgery there is a chance of becoming polyp disease very high in the patient and this is due to the patient that same like that when somebody seven people are doing work to ask the people to do by only four people what will the same will be seen more of the seven people And I'm also going to do the classification of triple helix syndrome. There are several classifications proposed. None they agree upon. One, one important to note and note extent and location of fusions are fusions are OC3, especially those with hospitalization of atlas. Hospitalization of atlas means atlas is not atlas is a C1. C1 nothing but atlas. There will be there, there, this atlas will go fused with the Oxford hospital complex. Are most likely to be symptomatic and require obtaining from contact spores. What happens when you do contact spores? This, whenever this happens, this won't press on the cervical cord. Cervical cord. Most of the time, it will go for border pleasure also, and there will be numbness. And then fusion below C3 are less likely to be symptomatic and most likely to have normal lifespan. That's why. Whenever, uh, whenever you see a patient, you will feel symptom. The on the classification, most important, it is fused above C3 or below C3. If fused above C3, it should be restricted from the sports area or so any contact sports. If it less than less than uh, below C3, less than like this, it will be most likely to have normal lifespan. One field classifies the symptom into four and three types. One of the types one is type one, type two, type three. In type one. There will be massive fusion of cervical spine. Most of the time, all the segments will get fused. And type two, fusion of one or two vertebra in between one mobile segment. In between two fused vertebra, one mobile segment. And in order to type three, in type three, there will be there is some thoracic or lumbar spine anomalies. In association with type one or type two, it will be the same thing. But other thoracic or lumbar spine sometimes you use spinal cord injury or skull injury, all those things you see. You know, what type of type of type of type of mass fusion and cell type of fusion of one or two particular and this is the result of cervical thoracic thoracic and lumbar spine anomalies. What is some is classification of system? You know this is classification of this field. This classification this is this is some is this type of type of type of type of type of type of single located fusion means C two C three or C five C six like that. In type two multiple non contiguous fusion segment. Means if C two C three get fused and C three C four get mobile, and again C five C three get fused, and type three multiple contiguous fusion segment means C two C three C four C five that like they get fused, okay? And how the patient present with you? The patient present with a very very good stiff and very stiff some rotation. Main main thing is the uh, rotation. And what are the things you should examine in physical examination? Already told you, try. Try is low head, short back neck, and limited cervical range of motions. Secondly, secondly to this, the condition may be confused with muscular torticollis because there is there is a restriction of rotation. Sometimes it may be it may be it may be confused with the muscular torticollis. How will you see that thing? Either you will see about any back neck, is short back neck, and low cervical low head neck. And what are other findings are there? Already you know, high scapula, sphincter deformity, jaw anomalies you could see, and partial loss of hearing, hearing, any deafness will be there, or or usually torque bodies and scoliosis. This is a portion of the patient with triple pelvic syndrome, and an anomaly of ostro cervical junction. The image shows an elevated left, elevated left, elevated left shoulder. Elevated left shoulder, see here. Elevated shoulder, we will see here. Compared to the right shoulder, uh, this hip angle of the scapula here, the single level scapula. This elevated left shoulder due to spinal anomaly and a short back neck, short back neck and low head neck. See the rotation distribution. The patient has triple pelvic syndrome, an anomaly of ostro cervical junction. The patient flexion extension after the ostro cervical fusion he demonstrated. His rotation was very limited. Already told you the sin 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 kind sin sin kind sin. See the photo demonstrated sin kind sin. As the patient attempts to oppose the thumb and finger of the thumb and finger of the thumb and finger of the right hand, sorry, thumb and finger of the right hand, the same movement occurs in the left. See. 
And how all these things happen? What are the things things you 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 do to the patient? Once the patient patient? comes to you and you're thinking it is it. Okay, you feel symptom, what are the things you do? Most you, most you see about the uh, APV. APV of the cervical spine. This is APV, later view, and what are the things you should take to see about any C1, C2 abnormal test. And what are the findings you see in the C1, C2 abnormal test? And it is C, basic equalization is there. And you see on the later view, defined as dense elevation above मेक्रेसिटे डिमोस्ट्रेटिंग See this is a congenital scoliosis, and we will see an X-ray. See how many bones are there elevated here compared to the this right side. And if you see about atlantic X-ray, any instability is present when atlas dense interval is greater than. When you tell it to see atlas action instability, when the when the space between the atlas and dense interval is greater than five mm, and then cervical congenital is seen with spinal cord less than thirty mm, then measurement there. When it degenerates, it is there. What are the degenerative changes you see? Of the cervical spine, see it under a parasite, and calcifications may be seen within interpretable disc space. And so, what is the treatment? What are the treatments? What are the treatments? Treatment is one is observation. You need to observe, or you can ask the patient to participate in the contact sports or not. Position sports. What are the indications? When to observe, the patient to go into contact sports. Indication. Asymptomatic patient with fusion one two distance below three below below C three. The patient the patient only to observe. Patient can go for contact sport or pollution. So already I told you below three three the risk is less. But observation abstain from contact sport or indication. What are the indication? Asymptomatic asymptomatic patient they don't really suffer with fusion. Minimal is C two. Above C three. Above C three. And more is contact sport. 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 And what are the modalities? The counseling is reported to avoid activities that place a neck at a high risk of injury. And there will be, and we should see about you know patients who are going for combat sports, gymnastics, football, wrestling, and etc. And then what are the things? See, patient is symptomatic. What are the things we are going to operate? What are the things we are going to see? We should see about any patient having atrial axial instability or. Patient having a atrial axial fusion. Whenever there is instability, before doing any major procedure, first you should correct the instability, and then you go for the surgery. Or the indication will be when there is basal invasion, when there is a chronic pain, myopathy, associated atrial axial instability, and adjacent nerve disease. If it is symptomatic, these are the operative procedures you will see. Okay, and this is very short, a short class. And then uh, I think most of the people are interested in clinical syndrome. Okay. Now you know whenever you see patient with a short, short neck, short low head neck, and restriction of neck motion, you should think of clinical syndrome. The clinical syndrome is, uh, is there is a trial, and it is most of because of <coughs> decrease in formation or segmentation at three to uh, cervical segments at three to eight weeks of gestation, and then. One more thing, and the, uh, this is classification type one, type two, type three. Two to three types of classification will be there. And then treatment, uh, uh, there is the other other one is one is single shoulder, cardio pulmonary, renal abnormalities, hearing abnormalities, and nervous system all those things you should see. And then when it comes to the uh, investigation, X-ray, MRI, CT scan, operation, my own will observe, own will observe. And now we have a contact sports solution for the mini fusion. Above C3, you should observe. Now we have a solution for contact sports. 
any patient below C3 will observe negative effects of complex pollution scores. But when you look at surgical decompression, the indication will be the patient with vessel elevation, patient with chronic pain, myopathy, associated with acute acid instability, and adjacent level disease. It is symptomatic. Okay. Thank you. Meet you the next class.